The safer Halloween is, the more fun it is for you and for me. That's what I think. But some people have a strange idea of fun. <laughs> Do you really think this is the time for story time? I mean, with all this going on right now. Yeah, like, this is the perfect time. We can't leave the house. You don't even want to leave the basement, so why are we not utilizing this time to tell a story? Because we need... Constance... We need to hold out till midnight. And this is serious stuff. This isn't just like your go get, oh, let's just sit in the basement and play story time. That's not what we need to do right now. What do we need to do, Max? We need to bunker down and take this seriously. We're bunkered down. There is. We're in the basement. The door to the basement is barricaded. What else are we going to do? I don't think you understand the intensity of what we are dealing with. I don't. That's why I want you to read the story. There is no stopping this. That's why we have to... The story time. Like, really? Like, you know what? Yes, look, we're in the thick of it. The emotions are running high. This is the perfect time to tell a story. All right? Perfect. And story time videos do great. Especially if the cap 10 minutes. So. I get that you want to make sure the show captures everything. And we want to make sure that our audience gets to see what's going on. But this really is not the time. Look, I don't this know is the serious. Story. I don't know the story. So they obviously don't know the story. So we're just going to tell the story. It'll take, hopefully, a full 10 minutes. And then 10, 10 minutes from now, we'll be done. And we could do whatever you want to do that you claim is bunkering down and needs to be done. If right we now. survive or we could survive this monstrosity like I did 20 years ago, and then we could tell the story, what are you which sounds do well, I don't re understand, reasonable. Max, what are you going to do differently than what we're doing right now? I don't know, but I don't you have say, a gun on me right now, and I feel like I should have fight him. nine millimeter. So, like, we should just stay this is here not, oh my and God, not Constance, fight him, you're right? Not listen, you're not listening to me. This isn't our normal, oh, let's capture the footage, and we'll post it on YouTube, and... Amazon and all the video places that we post our stuff on. This is serious, and I am not kidding. We could not make it till midnight. We need to make sure we make it till midnight. And if you want to tell stories after that, that's great. But this is real. Max, look how worked up you're getting right now. This I am very perfect. worked up. This is it's perfect. God Read the story. Tremont. Oh, you're not listening to me at all. You know what? Max, just read the story and get over with. Will you at least get me a firearm while you, I read this story? You told me that nothing, that we can't fight him. We like, can't fight him! That's the whole point! Then why I do just, you need a firearm? Because it makes me feel good, okay? When I have something that can hurt something, I feel better. And regardless of whether how useful it is, I just... Max, you don't need a gun. A, because you say that you can't find him anyway. But B, because I am a literal firearm. I can make fire with my hands. Got you. You know what? I got you. I'm going to put a note that I am in disagreement with you. But I'm going to read this story because... No matter how much I say and what I say and how real this is, it's not going to matter. So let's just get this, get this going and just, let's just, let's go. Come on. All right, we're rolling. Okay.
Long story short, everyone in this house is dead except me. Not yet, not yet, obviously. But it is going to come. Um, this little trick or treat man, um, this little demon thing. Nobody ever asked me what I thought, okay? They're all having a party downstairs, freaking out, losing their marbles over this thing, and no one ever asked me what I thought. I'm, what do we do? It's, what do we do? Hello? Is it not obvious? It's easy. I've concocted the best plan known to man. And it took me 35.6 seconds. I'm staying here. Easy as that. I don't have to do anything. I got my cat. I got my I got my video games. I got my Christmas tree. There's I don't have to do a thing. I'm sitting here. I'm going to eat some candy and I'm not leaving. Ever. I live here. This is my house. This this is a separate house. I registered this room to be a different address. He has to if he tries to come in here, he's going to have to ask me again for candy. And you know what I'm saying? Nothing. I'm staying in here. I'm not even opening the door. I don't care. I don't care if it's the president of the United States knocking on my door. I'm staying in here. I'm staying in here until the day I die. Before I get into this, I want you to know that this is a true Halloween tale. It happened in our neighborhood. The October air in Ohio was strange in the fall of 1985. It was colder, wetter, and heavier than any year on record, the weatherman said. The sky continually drizzled like a clogged garden hose, and the air carried an odd sort of cold with it that didn't so much bite at your skin as creep up on you. The cold seemed to burrow deeper into the muscles as the flesh warmed under the piles of blankets as the roaring fireplaces, as it attempted to escape inward, deeper and deeper and deeper into the body. As the case with Danny Tremont. Situated atop of a floor vent, with a return of the Jedi blanket wrapped over his shoulders as the warm air bustled up underneath him, trapping in a fabric cocoon. The creeping, burrowing cold finally seemed contempt to stop the core of Danny's bones. At only 13, Danny was convinced that the cold was stunning his growth. If this continued all winter, like the old guy on TV that would tell you the weather and suggested you adopt a dog was saying Danny would never break five feet and he was already the shortest kid in class his height at one point had been the main point of reference for bullies and even teachers the bullies were relentless with the short drugs through the bulk of Danny's so far school career they seemed to relent in favor of total extrication come his freshman year of high school. That was the year he figuratively became the ghost in the halls of Danborough High School. And by Halloween, quite literally. Constance had this brilliant idea to have me sit down and read the story of Danny Trema. It was extremely boring. Extremely boring. I don't know why she even had the idea, but I did it because that's what I do. I please my daughter. Peacemaker. Peace. Look, it says peacemaker on it. 
I carve this myself. I'm making peace with what just happened. I'm trying to at least. I thought it was a good idea to, you know, go downstairs and film the story time because there's story time videos all over YouTube, okay? How is that not a good idea? It was a bad idea. And it was boring. I even tried to add a little excitement or a little pizzazz, a little sparks to the way I read it, you know, like they do in the, the, the ch children audiobooks. It doesn't have to be children audiobooks, but just just audiobooks in general, they add a little pizzazz. So I tried to add a little pizzazz. It didn't go over well. The first time that day, and it was hard not to take notice. Yeah, he wears those big ass boots, right? Freaking platforms on that guy. You know, I have a vision as a director sometimes, and there are just certain people, I'm not gonna say Max's name, but there are just certain people that don't understand that vision. He's just so monotone the whole time. There weren't, there weren't any voices. He didn't even put any inflection in. There was no passion there. Danny managed the slightest hint of a smirk. It's just so boring. And now I have to make peace with that. I have to make peace with that. It's like if you are trying to create something on your own and you got somebody standing over your shoulder telling you everything you're doing is wrong, it's kind of how it went. You know, I was, I was adding sound effects, explosions, slamming and stuff like that and then constantly like, Max bring it down a little bit you know, bring it down it's very hard to make peace with this you know it could have been good I feel like it could have been good I just don't know what went wrong anyway it didn't work it didn't work Max tells the story of Danny Tremont take two Version two, scene two. Not too long ago, not too far away, there was a boy named Danny Tremont. Danny Tremont. Danny Tremont. Little did Danny know his life was about to change forever. And not in a good way. Danny was to be possessed by a demon of sorts. An evil, evil demon. One that wanted candy. Candy demon. Danny would travel from house to house, knocking at the doors. Trick or treat. Mostly it was a trick, because he didn't really want the candy. And if you didn't give it to him, you would be dead by midnight. <coughs> if you did give him the candy, like a good Samaritan would, he'd be fine. But there was always somebody that didn't give him. and they would die. And this is the story of Danny Tremont. What happened after that, Max? He, he killed everyone. Parents, kids, everyone. He just, he killed them all. The cops, nobody could stop him. It didn't matter how many rounds of ammunition they had. Like, nobody could stop him. There was some kind of evil force that just drove him. And he just killed 
everyone. Inhumane. There was no Danny Tremont left at that point. No ounce of humanity. He was strictly driven by some kind of evil force. That's the only thing that's even explainable that makes any sense whatsoever. Which is exactly why we gotta make it till midnight because there's no stopping the curse of Danny Tremont at all. All right, let's go. We're gonna go upstairs yeah. and check if anybody is- Jeez. Oh my gosh. God. Fucking Paco, Paco, man. Put the knife down. What is, you guys don't need weapons, okay? I am the weapon. Keep the knife. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Come on. You're fine. All right. So we're just gonna go open the door, right? Yeah, right. Because look, we have to fight him. Okay, is all I'm saying is he's... we're gonna go open the door and check if he's out there. And if he's out there, I'm saying we have to fight him. He's a murdering psychopath. And even if we can't kill him, we can at least stop him from hurting anyone else. Constance, Jimmy and I grew up with this story. Okay? Okay. It's not story time anymore, Max. That's the thing. You don't stop him. You don't slow him down. You don't You do not do anything. This is the, you just waited out till midnight. This is the one time it is okay to hide. Wilmonsons don't hide, Max. This time they do. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Constance. Do you think he heard me talking shit and left? I, I highly doubt it. Damn it. Why is that never a realistic option? Look, we only have to make it a little bit longer. It is almost midnight. Yes. We are so home free. I love it when I win. When you win? You mean when we win? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. What were you saying about when... When you win? I don't get it. Why do monsters always go for the power? I mean, did they not know about night vision? No, I don't believe they got the memo. Ah! You hit my hat. Sorry, but I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay. What is that? I don't... That's... Maybe that's the door. I'm just saying, okay, that it's very 1984, that tactic, and I'm all for retro. You know I am, because look at the show, but still. Constance. What? This isn't the time for your philosophical bullshit. This is serious. Then what is there to truly talk about, Max? <laughs> I can't see anything. Apparently you didn't get the memo either. It's called night vision. She just makes me. Go, 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 you go, go. Go, 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 go. Shit. Oh. Ah. Leave the camera, just come on. But, uh, uh, I'm fine. We have to go back for Whisper and Jimmy. What? You want me to leave the camera? You want to go back for Jimmy? Yeah, I'm alone up there. It's fine. We only got a few more minutes. We just got to hold out. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's stall go. him. Let's stall go. him. We have to stall him. Okay, fine. Let's stall him. Um, look, you bridge. You troll-looking motherfucker. Go back under your bridge. Yeah. You, it's probably where you got a stupid-ass costume anyway. Dollar Tree? Yeah. You can say something that's Stupid costume? Would you, your mom pick it up for you? There you go. Or did your dad to do it? Shit, he's getting close. Get in the closet. Get in the closet. God! We should have stalled him longer. Yeah, yeah, we definitely should have stalled him longer. We should have made fun of him more. Your dad's a pussy! All right, 
If we're gonna die, we're gonna die together, pops. Fight! It's almost as special. We don't ever die alone. He poofed. Oh my gosh. We made it. Hey. You call me Pops. I didn't call you Pops. I didn't call you Pops at all. But you, but it's, you totally call me Pops. It's on camera. Uh, no, it's not. It's if, if it is on camera, it was totally because I thought we were going to die, and it's not at all. I didn't mean it. But it's... You still said it, and it's on camera, so that... Nope! Whisper! You gotta fix the fucking electricity again. God, she's, she's I swear it goes out. The power goes out like every two freaking seconds of this house. It's not a freaking experiment. It's damn evil <sighs> like a treater. Gotta love being a woman, son. I am so happy that that is over. Not in a weird hat that's falling off all the time. Have you guys seen Whisper at all? Because she wasn't here through like literally any of that. What has she been doing this whole time? Hold on. Whisper! You have to say trick or treat. What are you talking about? Can I please come in? Where have you been? No. You could be the demon. I'm not a demon. What are you talking about? It's past midnight. It's over. What? All of this is over. Danny Tremont is gone. It's like, it's past midnight already. I don't have a clock in here. You could be lying. Have you been in there this whole time? Yeah. Why would I be lying about about it being midnight? What? Why would I be lying and why would Danny Tremont sound like me? I don't know. Maybe he's good at impressions. I don't have dinner with him on Saturday nights. Can I please come in? No. Why not? If, if you're conscience, then prove it. What do you mean, prove it? Burn the door down? I want, I want some proof. I want you to slide an ID under the door. All of my IDs are fake. Well, maybe you should have some real ones. Can you just please open the door? You know, I got chased through the entire house by Danny Tremont, and you weren't anywhere around, so I just wanted to know where you were, and maybe that you were safe, but whatever. Well, you didn't ask me my plan, huh? Nobody invited me to the party. What are you talking about? You disinvited yourself. You've been hanging in here this whole time. You didn't come talk to any of us. Huh? You are the one that didn't come talk to any of us. Well, alright. Can you open the damn door so I don't have to yell at you? Thank you. Gee, believe us. What? You, I don't under, what was your plan then? What was your plan? What do you mean what was the plan? I've been in here this whole time. Obviously, but you were yelling that we didn't ask you your plan. So what was your plan, Whisper? To sit in here. You should have sat in here. What are you talking about? This my this is my house. My house, my rules. And there's no trick or treat demon coming in here. All right. I registered this room, and this room is my house. And I'm never coming out of it again. Feel like that's highly unproductive. What? Then I guess I don't even know why I bothered to come in here. You wanna watch a movie or something? 
Sure, what movie do you want to watch? Let's watch a Spongebob movie. Spongebob? The one with David Hasselhoff? And his back hair? Yeah. The Spongebob Squarepants one? You know, it's Halloween, right? You don't want to watch a scary movie, you just want to watch Spongebob Squarepants? No, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Halloween can be a scary time. Not because of witches or ghosts that we know aren't real, but because of real things that can spoil our fun. Just remember these few important things I've told you about. Carve your pumpkin carefully. Make sure that you can see. And make sure people can see you. Remember all your safety rules and take off your mask when you cross a street. Trick or treat in your own neighborhood, and don't keep any treats that don't look right. If you can do all that, then you won't have to worry about scary, real things happening on Halloween, right? Hello guys, I'm Constance Wilmanson, and today we're here, we're here with Bill. Can you see him? He hates hugs and he hates me, but he loves you guys. So he wants you to subscribe to our channel really, really badly and like our channel and ring the bell because every time that you guys like our channel and subscribe to our channel and ring our bell and watch all of our stuff, it just makes him really, really happy. We get to give him treats because we make more money off of your views and he gets little toys. Who doesn't want to give a dog toys? You're supposed to come back. Bill! Bill! Come here. Come here. Good boy. See, we also have Patreon and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and you should probably follow us on all of those things because our social media is filled with pictures of Bill and our cats and lots of, lots of dogs and happy dogs and happy cats. You love happy dogs and happy cats, don't you? Everybody loves happy animals and we get to make our animals more and more happy if you give us money to buy them toys. Please like and subscribe and visit our Patreon, please.